In this video, I'm going to be looking at all the stuff you can get from Redgrass Games. Hello AOS fans, Robin here, uh, back with a little video for you. Just want to say Happy New Year, Happy 2023, wherever you are. I wonder if you've made any New Year's resolutions. Some people hate them. I quite like them. One I made a little while ago, or a couple of years ago, was to paint every single day if I could. And I have kind of kept that, and I've seen the benefits. I have uh, improved my painting. Uh, I wouldn't say immensely, but I have improved my painting. And I want to take that on in 2023. I want to try to improve my skills, uh, try and learn some new techniques, uh, and stuff like that. And uh, to help me with that, I've been using um, a, a load of lovely products that uh, Red Grass Games sent me along. Um, I want to say thank you to them for sending, sending them to me, and I also need to uh, owe them a little apology. I actually sent these a little while ago, and then they delayed the date for the release of the video, um, and, I, and I thought, oh, sorry, I've got time to make it, I've got time to make it, and their life ran away with me. It should have been made in December, but here we are in January. So in some ways, it's kind of serendipitous, because I kind of want to say Happy New Year from me, and maybe from Red Grass Games as well, to, as you kickstart your painting in 2023. Um, they sent me the wet palette here, which I shall delve into in a minute. This is the second version of their wet palette. We'll delve into that in a minute. Uh, they also sent me a couple of other things, and I actually almost like these more. So I just want to focus on the wet palette is the thing that came out in December, the new version. I want to focus on these, because I really like these. Uh, is my painting handle. Now, they'd already sent me a painting handle a, a, a way back when. I, I did another video for them. Um, but the new, the new painting handle is pretty much the same, actually, but it's got brilliant, brilliant new... Uh, putty. This putty is almost like it's magic or designed by NASA or, or Martian technology or something like that. Um, and um, it is just really great. It's really sticky. I have to keep it away from the kids because they want to keep using it for stuff. Um, but it, it's really good. So basically the painting handle, if you've not seen one before, because I kind of thought, well, why do you need a painting handle? You've got fingers and you can hold stuff. And if you really, really want to put, um, you know, mount the money, you just do it on an old paint pot, which is what I used to do. But the handle is really great. The first thing is it twists round like that, which I really like, because uh, you can just basically, as you're painting, you can just hold it and just twist it and hold it. So it's, not a, it's not a big thing, I didn't think, because you know, I have fingers, I've got opposable thumbs, I can move the miniature, but actually, um, I really like I really like how that works. It's really easy, makes painting nice and easy, a little son of film on there for you. Uh, so that's really nice. Uh, you can get additional caps, so you can have sort of three or four miniatures on the go at once doing the Sons of Velmore at the moment. Um, and so you can just switch them over uh, onto a different, I've got two handles, but you can switch them over as you go, uh, which is quite nice. Um, they have a magnetic base, so if you ever want to stick them on the underside of your bin, you can. Uh, but more usefully, um, they have this little extra disc that you stick on the bottom there so that when you put it on the table, not really see it, but when you put it on something, a surface, it's flatter, so you can't knock it over, uh, which is really good. You have to be careful when you have two of them because they, they can clip together. I haven't had any major traumas there, the occasional, oh, is that going to be all right? They've always been okay, but they do they do clack together if you're not careful if you're using two. Um, so that's the handle. I really like the handle. It's really nicely designed. It's it kind of, I didn't, it's like I said, I, I didn't think it would make much difference, but actually it, it really does. I think they're about £13 on the website. They might be sold out at the moment. You can buy extra caps and extra putty, but the putty goes a long, long way. Um, I've got a massive blob of it on there, uh, but it goes a long way. I've, and, um, so uh, you probably only need one. Uh, it's more of one of those things, though. It's like, well, do I get an extra one while I'm buying it? I, I probably would, just so you've got more than enough to you to need forever, for as long as you ever need it. Uh, the second thing they sent me, which again, I didn't think I would particularly need, is this lovely, lovely glass palette. Yes, a glass palette. Why would I need a glass palette? I've got a plastic one, I thought, but actually this is just so much better than the plastic one I had. Um, it, it, what I like about it is that when you put the paint on on here, it just sits nicely nicely on the palette um, and you uh, add water and it, it, it just, it, the flow of the paint is really great. I really like it. It takes a little bit longer to dry out as well uh, as it did on my um, plastic palette. And as you can see, I've used it quite a lot. You wouldn't believe it, but it's actually quite good fun to clean as well because it scrapes off really nicely. You can scrape the paint off and you get these lovely Fordite flakes of, uh, of colored paint, which is really kind of, kind of fun. Uh, not so much when you've got browns and blacks like I have at the moment. But um, yeah, I really like that. I'm really pleased with that. It's actually cut to be the same shape as the wet palette. So it does actually fit in the wet palette box as well, which is quite nice if you just want to take that somewhere and you don't want to use the wet palette at the moment. Um, so yeah, that is the glass palette. I would recommend that. I think that's, again, I think that's about 12 or 15 pounds, something like that. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the description below. 
but it's, yeah, again, I'm really surprised. I, I thought, well, I'll just use it and then I'll keep my plastic one because I like my plastic one. It's got welds in it, uh, but I haven't needed a weld on this because it just, the, 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 the liquid, it kind of just stays stays where it should and um, it just, I just really like it. Um, so that's that, so that's really good. So think about one of those if you want more, but I guess the main piece of resistance, if you like, is the um, Everlasting Palette Wet Painter, Wet Palette Painter 2, they've got various iterations of this. And in here, the box comes in this neat, neatly packaged in this box. I haven't got, um, it comes, I think this was in there. I may, I may, I may have stuck this in because I have one of these lying around. The Red Grass Games book about how to paint miniatures is really handy. Got really some really useful tips in there if you just, particularly for just setting out. And there's some spare membranes. I'm not sure how many membranes it comes with. Go oh, have a look. How many membranes does it come with? It comes with 15 membranes. It's 35.99. Comes with 15 membranes uh, and two foams because I've got two foams in here as well. Two foams and I am the foam. The foam is, well, I have always been a bit like Tom Baker in that season, that second season of Blackadder where he plays the pirate Redbeard and he's got a completely different orthodoxy to how everybody else does things. Um, if you haven't seen the clip, uh, put it, watch it on YouTube. Just Google Blackadder Redbeard, Tom Baker. Um, it's very funny. Um, but uh, so he completely get, flies in the face of what everybody is. I'm kind of the same, I have to say, with a wet palette. Uh, I use them in the summer when, when my paint dries out really fast, but I... I actually generally prefer my uh, solid palettes. I love this glass palette. Um, and I know lots of people swear by them. Pete swears by them. Uh, I, 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 anyway, this palette, however, is really great. And if anything was gonna tempt me to use a wet palette, or and it has tempted me to use a wet palette, it's this wet palette because, um, well, the best thing about it is, well, I was gonna make this video, I said to you at the beginning, I was gonna make this video in, De in December. Um, and I actually got it all ready. I changed the membrane um, and I and I wetted uh, wet the wet the foam under here. You can't see it. I, you can wet. I, I, so I changed the membrane and I, I wet the palette, the foam under here. Just soaked it good, good and proper. Soaked it through, and um, put this lid on, which has got this lovely rubberized seal. Where you can't at all feel, because you're watching on video at home, possibly while you're doing the cooking or, or putting the kids to bed or something like that. Um, and, uh, but it's got this lovely rubberized feel and it sealed it and it is still, I just opened it, so it's probably, I probably did, was gonna make this video three or four weeks ago and it's still as wet as, as it was then and there's no mold or anything. Um, and so that is, is kind of, in a nutshell, why it's, so great, it seals so well, it keeps everything nice and wet. So you've, these are reusable membranes. I haven't tried to reuse one because you, you can't let them dry out before you uh, kind of clean it off. And I must confess, I did let it dry out. Uh, so I, haven't, I can't comment on, on, it, on, it, on its washiness. It's got these uh, that stick, and I'm not even gonna try and take them off. Well, they, they clip into there. Um, they clip into there, I won't take them off. This uh, is a paint pot holder, which is, you know, if anybody's spilt their known oil all over the place, we'll know how useful a couple of paint pot holders are. And you have got some wells there, you can see I've used it a tiny bit, uh, but I've, I've tended to use my, um, tend to use my glass palette. But you clip those on the side uh, for, for ease of use. Uh, so you can put the glass palette in the box if you want to, uh, but, I mean, you know, it's not a cheap bit of kit. It's thirty-five ninety-nine, which you know, compared with um, a bit of tissue paper in a, in a sandwich box, or even just you know, just a, a, an old plate for a palette, is is you know, it's it, it's a premium piece of kit, but it is worth it. It's much better. I I, said, I don't I don't utilize wet palettes a lot because I do prefer the solid palettes, but it is really good. It keeps the it keeps the uh, paint nice and hydrated if you want to use it over a number of different sessions. Um, and so it, it's really good for that. So red grass, I don't know how long they've been around. I've been aware of them for maybe five, six years. They are continually iterating and innovating. And this product, although I really enjoyed it, I reviewed the, the first um, wet palette they did with the orange lid. I, I, and, I, and I was quite impressed with that. Um, the membranes weren't as perhaps as good as they would be when I realized well, after, over time and I, from feedback from other people because I didn't really know what to compare it to. But this just feels much better. It feels like they've totally, basically reiterating their products all the time. They've they improved the sticky tack on here. Um, they you know, They're always thinking about how to improve our painting experience, which I think is really nice. And you know, they're a small company, European based, um, totally worth investing in their kit, I would say.
really enjoyed it. Um, lovely people to work with, and uh, this this is a you know, this is a premium wet palette. They do a couple of smaller ones. They do some of the older membranes, which potentially maybe like it's cheaper. It's perhaps not such a cost-effective thing because the membranes I don't think were as good. These these new membranes are, are really are really cracking. Um, and um, one of my resolutions, I suppose, is to try and understand why people love the wet palette so much. Try and use it more, especially as I go into uh, into the warmer weather, which hopefully is not too far around the corner. Um, and uh, you know, improve that, improve my use of wet palette, improve my painting and my use of uh, kind of keeping the keeping everything hydrated. Um, and a bit of a value for money because my paint won't keep drying out. It does dry out eventually on my solid glass palette, no matter how good I think it is. So. That's it. I so say I'm not at all an expert painter. I have just, you know, it's just like I say, painting is a, is a journey, um, and uh, you know, I'm improving. And with products like this and this, that helps me improve. Uh, but it's practice what, what gets you there in the end. Um, and I'm I'm enjoying my painting. And so hopefully over 2023, you'll see some things on Instagram. Do follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. You'll see some some of my imp improved painting uh, things. Maybe who knows. Um, and uh, I hope you found this video useful. If you want to know anything about the product, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer. Um, and, uh, you know, happy painting in 2023. I'm sure we'll see you soon. Maybe I'll take these Sons of Velm one out for a spin. We've got one set already painted. Maybe I'll take these ones out for a spin as well on the table for Warhammer and the Worlds. Uh, but until then, uh, enjoy your hobby, whatever it is you're doing. Let me know in the comment below if you have any experiences of red grass and uh, you know, what you enjoy about their products, whether you like the painting handles, whether you've never tried one, whether you think I'm an idiot for liking it. All that stuff, let me know in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you soon on the Age of Sigma. Goodbye.